the kid? Yeah, I can hear the kid. All right, congratulations, DJ Nintendo, for winning first place here Ooh. at Combo Breaker. Thank you very Goodness much. Gracious, man. I was so happy to <laughs> was, see you win, man. So happy. Like I was on the, the edge of my seat. I was, I was literally <laughs> on the edge of my seat. Like, my buddy from New York City way back in the day to see him come all the way out here and... Look at that. First place champion. Grand champion, yep. mind you. I see, and I'm a DJ, so it makes sense. See, wicked, wicked, wicked. <laughs> Look at that, man. I'm Look so excited. That. Now, I guess we could talk about the tournament before we even uh, touch on top eight. Coming yeah. into this tournament, how did you feel when it came to your performance? Or did you have any doubts? Or, or were there any players that you were on the lookout for? Or did you think you were just going to sweep it? Uh, the only thing I was really worried about uh, when it comes to my performance was that I came here with, like, uh, no controller pretty much because mine broke yeah and so I had to like you know borrow a uh, disciples controller and it was pretty good because I was testing out numerous controllers throughout the tournament mm -hmm. and uh, you know I tried out his and his was you know pretty decent for the most part and stuff but you know getting used to a new controller and everything and it wasn't that broken in either so yeah. I helped him break it in a little bit but that was the only thing I was worried about uh, I was happy because there was, you know, a good amount of good players here. You know, we have Fruit Loop, Duck, uh, Dark Rain. So, yeah, I was pretty uh, hyped to, uh, to fight all of them. Mm -hmm. And I, I had a feeling I was going to fight Duck because he's, like, probably the only Samus pro that I haven't fought yet. Wow, first time. Yeah, yeah, so that was the very first time that we fought. So that was pretty cool. Pretty interesting matches. Yeah. Any notable matches or players that you want to shout out that you played that you felt like were really good or... Other than the ones that you just mentioned in the bracket? Let's see. I, I can't remember their names. There was one Luigi player, mm. and he was pretty good. I played him in my first round bracket. Nugs, I, probably? Nugs? He plays Nubs? like, yeah, like Red Luigi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Nugs. Nugs, that's his name? Yeah, Nugs. Also, shout out to Nugs. Yeah, he has a pretty good Luigi. So uh, if he keeps putting in work and he travels, he could be another top Luigi, like a Bay, Vist, and all of them. So true. Yep. By the way, uh, also, if you guys did not know, he, you and the Moon won... Doubles, doubles here and wasn't that like straight like you, ju you yeah, guys we, just yeah we just it? went double fox and we just flushed it out we didn't lose no games at we didn't drop a game and the win semi set i didn't lose not one stock the entire set and every set was best of five by the way for doubles so <laughs> i went through how many stocks 24 stocks 20. on the opposing Four. team without me losing one <laughs> and the, the crazy thing was that you and the moon when you when you were going at it mm -hmm. Your team combos were so stupid good. Like, you'd go for up throw shine, or he would, and you'd follow up. And I've never seen a double fox team do that in my entire life. Like, what's that something new that you guys came up with while training back at home? Yeah, you know, we go to training mode a lot. At tournaments, sometimes we don't even play people. Uh, we'd, like, take a break and just go to our uh, empty uh, setup, and we just start practicing on a computer. Like, oh, yeah, we should do this. Because some characters are really annoying to KO in doubles. Yeah. Like, let's say Peach. So, for example, uh, if he grabs Peach at, like, I don't know, 75 on FD and up throws, if the Peach is really good at up air, uh, I mean, at smash the iron, she's going to live. And at 75, she won't die from an up air from Fox. Uh -huh. So, instead, he up throws, and then he quickly double jump shines, and then I do my up air, and then she dies off the top. Wow. Characters like that. Or if it's a fast faller, he'll up throw um, and shine Fox. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's a Fox diddle. And then it'll come to me, and I could up smash. And then because of the percentage, I could up smash again. And then pass it right back to him. Wow. And what's really great about up throw shine mm -hmm. is because, let's say you grab someone, you up throw shine, the other person, the team partner, notices, oh, wait, he grabbed my partner, I have to go. He's probably going to up smash. But no, instead, he up, uh, he up threw shine, and he got out of the sticky situation. While his friend is knocked down on the floor, and then I'm following up. And we can't get punished because if you do up throw up smash, then you're going to get hit of by the other guy. Yeah. So we try to, you know, avoid those sticky situations. And one of the things we do, to uh, we up throw shine near the ledge and then I shine. And then after his first shine, he's already running after my second shine and shining Fox or Peach. That's how you KO Peach at like 15% or something. Wow. Yeah, it's like one, two, three, off stage dead. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Make sure yeah. you guys take notes. And keep playing the video over and over until you remember what DJ just said. <laughs> <laughs> so now, let's talk about your set with Duck. Mm -hmm. In Winner's Finals, I saw you playing. Every time, the, one of the main things that I recognized was that Duck, he always came up from the edge most of the time with an attack, right? Yeah. He was always ledge hopping most of the time with a fair. So in Winner's Finals, um, not Winner's Finals exactly, in uh, 
winner's semis when you guys faced off. Yeah. You kept punishing it perfectly with attacks. Then you guys faced off in grand finals and you started messing it up so much, like more often than not, yeah. to the point where you just backed off and said, let me just get a couple lasers, wait till he overextends himself, yeah. and then clip him with like an attack when I'm on a platform. Like what made you what what made you start missing those ledge hop attack punishes because you were really consistent with it before. Yeah, because I know the Samus matchup because I see a lot of foxes and they're they're like so skilled, but then when they fight a Samus, it's just like they don't know the ins and outs. Like they they play the matchup like aggressive or passive and stuff, but then they don't know the little intricacies that you have to do versus you know uh, character mid tiers like that. And so I was just uh, the controller was like messing me up more in grand, so that's why I was like, you know what? Let me stop going to the ledge so much because I'm messing it up. Let me just play it safe. You know, probably do like a space F till or something. Or just let him come back, you know, with Samus. Okay. It's whatever. Because Samus players, they like to, you know, when they grab ledge, they let go. They grab again. Uh, and then they let go. And then they quickly like auto cancel on the stage. And I was punishing that too with up smash. Especially yep. in winter semis. But since my controller was like... Uh, messing me up way more in grands i just tried to play a bit more safely okay yeah no. all right well overall good job to dj nintendo we're about to kick it straight to smash 4 here at combo breaker so four, baby. a quick shout out to anybody before we go yeah a quick shout out to you my homie thank and you so much we're both gonna be at ghetto my level so in next Canada. weekend so shout out to to joe for uh, getting me and the moon over there mm -hmm. And um, shout out to everybody in NYC, uh, G Money, Sled, uh, Reno, even though he's not NYC anymore, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Reno, Mark, uh, Brian Garcia, you know, all, all the kids. All the kids. They, they know who they are, man. Yeah. All the kids. And, and everybody who supported me, thanks a lot. I, I try my best. I want to be the best player. So that's why I'm traveling everywhere. It doesn't matter. Canada, you know, Australia, it doesn't matter. Does so. not matter. Yep. All right, guys. Well. Thank you so much for your time, DJ Nintendo. Yeah, Congratulations. No Thank you again. once again. See you guys right. later. Peace.